Hey, welcome to the Biochemistry Academy. In today's video, we'll talk about glycolipids. And what are glycolipids? Glycolipids are a type of compound or complex lipid that is composed of a fatty acid, an alcohol, which is pingosine, and a carbohydrate. And glycolipids are also called glycospingolipids. They are important constituents of the cell membrane and the nervous tissues. In the structure of a glycolipid, they do not contain any glycerol, neither do they contain any phosphate. Therefore, a gly glycolipid consists of spingosine, a fatty acid, and a carbohydrate. And this carbohydrate can be a sugar. Classification of glycolipids. And glycolipids are classified into four classes. Now, the first among them is erythrocytes. They are the most simplest form of glycolipids. Now, a erythrocyte is made up of a ceramide and a monosaccharide. Now, a ceramide is just a spingosine that is attached to a fatty acid. Now, when a monosaccharide, which can be either a glucose or galactose, is attached. It is called a cerebroside. Now, there are two types of cerebroside. One is the galactocerebroside. And this type of cerebroside is where galactose is the monosaccharide. And it is found in high concentration in the nerve tissue membrane. Now, the second type of cerebroside is the glucose cerebroside, which glucose is the monosaccharide that is present. Now, the glucose cerebroside, it is found in the non-neural tissues. Now, one of the functions of cerebroside is that they act as a precursor for the synthesis of more complex glycolipids. For example, the glanglocide, which is another type of which is another classification of the glycolipid. The second classification of glycolipids are the sulfatides. Now, the sulfatides are made up of a ceramide, which we say is a spingosine plus a fatty acid, plus a monosaccharide, plus a sulfate group. Now, this sulfate group is attached to the monosaccharide, and an example of such sulfatides are the sulfogalactoceramide, which are found in the myelin. The third classification of glycolipids are the globocytes. Now, the globocytes are made up of a ceramide plus an oligosaccharide. Now, the function of the globocyte is that they are the constituents of the red blood cell membrane and they are used to determine the ABO blood group of an individual. In the fourth classification of glycolipids is the glanclocytes, which are the most complex type of glycolipids. Now, it is composed of a ceramide plus an oligosaccharide plus an acetylneuramic Acid, which is also known as nana. Example of such type of glanglocytes are the GM3 glanglocytes, the GM1 glanglocytes. Let's talk about the general function of glycolipids. Now, glycolipids are the constituents of the nervous tissues, such as the brain and also the outer leaflets of cell membrane that are the constituents of specific receptors for polypeptide hormones. They are antigenic and have been identified as a source of blood group antigens and they also play a role in the regulation of cellular interaction, growth and development. Well, that's it for this video. In our next video, we'll talk about lipoproteins. Please click the bell icon and subscribe 
to be notified when our next video is out. And finally, if this video have helped you, please like, share, so that others too might find the same video. Thank you.